Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem based on the concepts of vector addition. So as per the problem, ABCDEF is a regular hexagon such that vector AB is equal to vector A. So this vector A to B is equal to vector A. And vector B to C is equal to vector B. So B to C is equal to vector B. And we have to express CD in terms of A and B. So let's start by analyzing this hexagon. So the first thing we have to analyze about this hexagon is that it's a regular hexagon. That means all side lengths are equal in this hexagon. Now, if we break up this hexagon into triangles, so let's assume this is the center of this hexagon, point O, and we make triangles with each side of the hexagon. So all of these triangles are equilateral triangles and they all have same side length. So there's a very important concept you need to understand and memorize about regular hexagon to solve this problem. So because these are equilateral triangles, all of these angles are equal to 60 degrees. So even this one, and then this one, even this one, and all of these angles in these six triangles. Now we have to express CD. So vector CD is from C to D. So we have to find the value of this vector CD in terms of A and B. Now the first thing we have to understand here is to find equal vectors in this diagram. Now as I just mentioned, so this angle is 60 degrees here and this angle here is 60 degrees. Therefore, line segment AB is parallel to line segment OC because of the corresponding angles or angles in F pattern. So we can see that AD is a continuous line and these two angles are equal to each other. That means AB is parallel to OC. Now since all these triangles are equilateral, that means the length of line segment AB is also equal to the length of line segment OC. That means vector OC can also be labeled as vector A because they have the same magnitude and same direction. So vector AB is equal to vector OC because they have the same magnitude and direction. Now similarly we can analyze sides BC and OD. Now this angle here is equal to 60 degrees and this angle here is also equal to 60 degrees. So as a result, BC is parallel to OD because there are two lines being cut by a transversal BE. So these are angles in an F pattern. And since these angles are equal, that means BC is parallel to OD. And since they also have the same length, that means vector BC is equal to vector OD which is equal to vector B. Now we can find out vector CD. So vector CD goes from point C to point D and an alternative way to go from C to D is to go from C to O and then from O to D. So we can label this as vector CO plus vector OD. So this can be the vector addition statement for vector CD. Now we know that OC is equal to vector A. So now CO can also be written as minus vector OC and vector OD is equal to vector B. So now we can change vector OC to A. So it becomes minus vector A plus vector B. And now we can rewrite it as 
वेक्टर सी डी इक्वल्स वेक्टर बी माइनस वेक्टर ए सो दिस शुड बी द फाइनल आंसर फॉर पार्ट ए सो नाउ वी कैन एनालाइज पार्ट बी सो इन पार्ट बी वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट बी ई इज पैरल टू सी डी एंड दैट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ सी डी एंड फॉर दैट विल हैव टू analyze vector be now vector be goes from point b to point e now an alternate way to go from b to e is to go from b to c then c to d and then from d to e so we can do so we can break up vector be as vector bc plus vector cd plus vector de a uh, vector de is opposite to vector ab because in this case this angle here is 60 degrees so this angle is 60 degrees so this angle is 60 degrees this angle is 60 degrees so these are two angles in an f pattern so they are corresponding angles so that's why oc is parallel to ed and since all sides have the same length here so that's why vector oc is equal to vector ed so i'll write it on the board so vector oc is equal to vector ed which is equal to vector a because we proved earlier that vector oc is equal to vector a so now we can do the substitution so vector be equals vector bc is represented by vector b and cd we found out in part a as vector b minus vector a and vector de is the opposite of vector ed so that will be equal to plus then negative vector a so there is a very important concept we need to understand and memorize now we can combine like terms in this vector equation so vector be is equal to so we have vector b here and another vector b here so that will be 2 times vector b and then minus vector a another minus vector a so it become minus 2 times vector a now we can factor out the 2 from this expression so we get vector b e equals 2 and then parentheses vector b minus vector a and we know that vector b minus vector a is equal to vector cd is equal to 2 times vector cd so this means vector be is parallel to vector cd is parallel to vector cd and 2 only affects the magnitude not the direction now we can also conclude that the magnitude of vector be so now here we are comparing their lengths that the magnitude of vector be is equal to 2 times the magnitude of vector cd So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.